Hey guys, so I'm coming on here quick because a lot of people have been asking this question and um, it can be a bit much to kind of type the same thing over and over again, although it is a good exercise, so I'm not complaining. Um, I just figured, why not make a video so that anyone who needs help in this area, um, they can just watch the video uh, and just hear what you know the lord has revealed to me on it so <clears throat> the question a lot of you have been asking is um how do i hear from the lord and some say i've been a christian for a long time and i haven't heard from the lord or even if they haven't been a christian a long time and some will say well i want to hear the lord like you do or stuff like that and um Sorry, I got like veggie tails on right now and it's distracting me, so I'm just gonna look away. <laughs> um, so, basically, I just ask questions. I'm like that annoying kid in class that raises their hand a lot. Um, and I ask the Lord questions. And sometimes we can overcomplicate things to the point where we no longer know what to even ask. And I say just ask the obvious questions for the situation that you're in. So ask questions like, like a five-year-old would, you know, like, why is the sky blue? Why are, why are there clouds? <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, but, uh, this is a really good one. And I've been telling this to a lot of people, um, because this is the thing is the Lord speaks to all of us. He is our creator. He created us to have a relationship with us uh, and he created us intentionally, which means that he absolutely wants to talk to us, does talk to us, wants us to hear, wants us to respond, wants us to seek him out first, wants to uh, respond when he seeks us out first and so on and so forth. So first off, you gotta know who God is in that aspect. Um, and getting to know God uh, comes through reading scripture and uh, trial and error, saying prayers and trial and error. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, this is who I think God is and finding out, no, actually, he, he's not that way. He's way better than that. Oops, I messed up. <laughs> so there's quite a bit of that too. Um, but this is a really good thing to ask for. Just say, Lord, please open my eyes and my ears that I may see and hear the ways that you do speak to me, the ways that you do reveal yourself to me. Help me to wait on you, to watch for you, to listen for you, and to expect you and to receive you, Jesus. So it's a really good prayer to pray. Um, because sometimes our eyes and our ears can just be shut in different ways that we don't even know. Um, just because we got chaos, you know, going through our minds or we have our own opinions going through our minds and, and it can drown out the Lord. Um, another thing to ask for, this is a good one to ask for. I pray this a lot is Lord, Please remove any veils of deception that might be over me, <clears throat> that I may not be deceived or deceive others in Jesus' name. That's a really good one to pray um, and to pray often. Another one <clears throat> that's really good to pray for is discernment. And just to give you guys an example, um, it's kind of like a muscle and, and you grow in it. So... I've been learning to pray for this more and more, and I pray for it quite often now um, at this point. And it, it took, you know, a while of doing it, and, and the Holy Spirit helps us like that. Um, so you can depend on the Holy Spirit as well, but it's always good to take that first step of faith. Um, so pray for discernment before you do things. And I know sometimes it's hard when you're first learning, because when you're first learning, the way things go is is you do something or you make a mistake and then you realize after 
So you know what you do when you're in the beginning of this? You pray for discernment after you've already made the mistake. And you keep doing that. And after a while, you'll start catching yourself in the middle of doing it. So then you start praying for discernment in the middle of doing things. And then you do that for a while. And then you hit a point where you pray for discernment before you do things. Now, I'm a before and during, in the before and during stage. There's times where um, usually I pray for discernment before things, but sometimes I'll forget and I'll pray during. And sometimes I'll do both, uh, depending on how things are going. So I'll give an example. Um, let's say you're about to have a conversation with someone and you're like, oh man, like how can I bring the Lord into this conversation? Or Lord, I don't want to get sucked into a worldly conversation or, you know, I know this person, I know how they are, or I don't know this person, I don't know how they are. So before you get in that conversation, like, Lord, please give me discernment. Of what is of you? What is not of you? What is of the flesh? What is of the enemy? And please guide my words, Lord. 